During the 1920s, Japan expected to complete the next set of ships in its 8-8 fleet program with 8 new battlecruisers and 8 new battleships. Of these, the Tosa-class battleships were started, and the Amagi-class battlecruisers were started. In February of 1922, Japanese politicians would sign the Washington Naval Treaty, which would restrict capital ship construction within Japan, and this meant the Tosas and Amagis had to be cancelled. Against the common picture that has been painted regarding the signing of the Washington Naval Treaty, the Imperial Japanese Navy was indeed unhappy with the terms laid out by the treaty, but the Japanese government was plenty happy with it because the 8-8 fleet program was a bank-busting exercise, as it would cost nearly one-third of Japan's annual spending budget. The Japanese Navy ended up being satisfied with the terms eventually as... The United States and Great Britain both ended up cancelling a series of capital ship projects they were working on as well. An interesting term within the treaty allowed the nations to convert two capital ships into aircraft carriers as long as their standard displacement was under 27,000 tons. Japan had four highly advanced halls under construction at the time they were cancelled in 1923, the Tosa and Kaga, and the Amagi and Akagi. The Japanese opted to use Amagi and Akagi for the conversions into aircraft carriers as their hulls were more suitable for aircraft operations and they were faster. Tosa found itself set to the side and marked up for targeting practice, which would eventually lead to the ship being scuttled, and Kaga was set to the side to be sent to the scrapyard. While Tosa and Kaga awaited their fates, Rear Admiral Hiraga, head of the Naval Technical Department, assembled his design team, and they began working on plans for converting Amagi and Akagi into aircraft carriers. During this time frame, Hiraga would seriously consider six design plans, and each of them were dramatically different from one another, and are quite interesting proposals. For the sake of visual clarity, I will be using modern recreations of the plans. Proposal 1 looked largely like Hosho on a greater scale, and its island and funnel placement was highly reminiscent of what we would eventually see on the United States, Lexington, and Saratoga. The ship had a total of three primary hangar spaces, and these were subdivided into seven hangars. The forward hangar, number one, could contain four planes. The after upper hangar, number 2 through 4, could contain 22 aircraft, and the after-lower hangar, number 5 through 7, could contain 10 aircraft. This design also has an interesting emphasis on close-range combat, as the ship contained 10 20cm guns and 14 12cm guns. All of these guns would be placed in casemates along the upper section of the primary hull. Proposal 2 was much like Proposal 1, except the funnel got noticeably shorter, the flight deck's forward end had been slightly widened, the slope of the forward flight deck was increased, and the arrangement of the casemates was placed more into the center of the ship, most likely to increase their effectiveness. Both Proposals 1 and 2 were rated at 29,600 tons standard displacement, and they were both capable of carrying 36 aircraft. Proposal 3 is by far the most interesting visually. The Japanese finally designed a full-scale island for not just aircraft, but ship operations. The funnel projected from the starboard side of the hangar and curved upwards. Some of the uptakes protruded from the primary flight deck, and thus there was an armored casing placed over top of this to protect them and the ship's forward flight deck was narrowed once again and it still retained a heavy slope, while the after end of the flight deck sloped upwards. Ideally, when an aircraft was landing, the upward slope would help slow the aircraft quicker so that it could stop in a faster amount of time. The ship's armaments would consist of 10 20cm guns and 6 12cm guns, and their positions were once again altered, with the bulk of these being located at the after end of the ship, and a couple located at the bow. Its displacement would remain around 29,000 tons standard, and it was capable of holding upwards of 40 aircraft with its slightly rearranged hangar placements. Proposal 4 was a heavy evolution of Proposal 3. 
The island had been completely eliminated, and this meant the navigation bridge would be located under the forward edge of the primary flight deck, and just ahead of it, four 20cm guns had been placed in two twin turrets. There would be six more 20cm guns, along with six 12cm guns, all placed in casemates at the upper end of the hall at the stern. This is the first proposal for Amagi that we would see the multi-flight deck system. This vessel had two flight decks. The primary upper flight deck was heavily sloped, for the same reasons that have been mentioned on Proposal 3, but they incorporated the forward end of the flight deck going over top of the funnel uptakes, so no major casing had to protrude onto the flight deck. Ideally, this made taking off a safer operation. The lower flight deck protruded from the forward end of the lower hangar, and smaller aircraft could comfortably take off from this location. Once again, it had an estimated displacement of 29,000 tons standard, and it could carry upwards of 40 aircraft. Proposal 5 was largely a refined variant of Proposal 4. The intense slope of the after flight deck had largely been eliminated, and since the flight deck now sat higher on the hull, large sturdy beams were placed at the stern to support the flight deck. Ideally, eliminating this intense slope made landing and takeoff a safer operation. The navigation bridge and the two 20 centimeter turrets were moved forward, increasing the forward length of the flight deck, which gave the planes more available space for takeoff. By this design, we also see the complete elimination of the sloping of the flight deck at the forward end. Finally, we arrive at Proposal 6, which is what Amagi and Akagi were eventually supposed to become. This was the triple flight deck aircraft carrier with heavily rearranged hangar spaces with a primary upper and a primary lower hangar. Both of these connected directly into a flight deck at their forward edges, and the aircraft capacity of the ship had been increased to 60 planes. The funnel had finally been redesigned. Instead of protruding from the upper hangar and curving up, it would now protrude from the upper hangar and curve down. Ideally, the smoke would be kept underneath the flight deck. A water cooling system had been installed as well, just in case the gases did rise above the flight deck and obscure landing operations. The 12 centimeter guns in casemates had been eliminated, and there would now only be six single mount 20 centimeter guns in casemates, all located at the upper edge of the hull at the stern, and four 20 centimeter guns in two twin turrets, located ahead of the navigation bridge on either side of the central flight deck. Since there was now a flight deck protruding from the upper hangar, the position of the 20 centimeter turrets had to be extended further outboard so there was space for the aircraft to fit between the turrets. The ship's finalized armor belt would be 15.2 centimeters, while its finalized armor deck would be 7.9 centimeters thick. Its designed speed was 28 knots, however, upon sea trials, the Akagi was capable of 32 and a half knots. The ship's anti-aircraft complement would be made out of six coaxial 12 cm high-angle guns. The finalized standard displacement would be 26,500 tons. With Proposal 6 receiving favoritism, Amagi and Akagi were both prepared for conversion into the aircraft carriers in 1923. Unfortunately for the design team, on the 1st of September 1923, an earthquake would heavily damage the Yokosuka Naval Yard where Amagi was being held, and the ship itself was badly shaken, losing its structural integrity, and upon inspection, the ship was classed as a total loss. Akagi, being constructed at the Kirei Naval Arsenal, had not taken the brunt of the earthquake, and its hull was safe from any vibration damage. The Japanese Navy found themselves down one aircraft carrier, and this meant they had to fill in the spot. Luckily for them, the Kaga had yet to be sent off to the breaker's yard, and thus it would be retained, and it would also be converted into an aircraft carrier, with its designs being based off of Proposal 6 for Amagi and Akagi. Unfortunately, due to the fact that Kaga was dimensionally not the same as Akagi, it could not be directly ripped from Proposal 6, and the Japanese would have to go through a design phase for Kaga as well, which would last until 1925, delaying Kaga's construction into an aircraft carrier 
for a year. There are a handful of noticeable differences between the two ships. Kaga was 4 knots slower than Akagi, capable of only 28 knots. The ship's funnel would not curve out of the hangar deck as seen on Akagi, but instead there were two funnels that would protrude from the upper hangar deck, run down the entire exterior of the ship's after end, and they would vent downward at the after end of the flight deck, ideally keeping smoke away from the ship altogether. Kaga would also retain greater defensive qualities. The ship would have four 20cm guns located in two dual turrets on the middle flight deck, as could be seen on Akagi, but it would have ten 20cm guns located in single casemates at the stern of the ship, compared to Akagi's six. The ship's belt armor was identical to that of Akagi, but the deck armor was actually less than that of Akagi, having been reduced all the way down to 3.8 centimeters. This was a sacrifice that had to be made in the name of stability. The ship's smaller dimensions also meant that it carried less aircraft when compared to Akagi. This meant Kaga had a maximum capacity of 52 planes. With the designs having been finalized, construction could be restarted, with Akagi beginning on the 19th of November, 1923, being launched on the 22nd of April, 1925, and completed on the 25th of March, 1927. Kaga's story is a bit different, as the vessel had already been launched. The vessel was launched on the 17th of November, 1921. It was moved to the Okasuka Naval Arsenal and reclassified as an aircraft carrier in 1923. Conversion work would begin in 1925, and the vessel would not be completed until the 31st of March, 1928. With both ships having been handed over to the Navy, Carrier Division 1 could finally be realized. With that having been said, that is all I have to say on this topic for today. So, if you have enjoyed this video, why not leave a like and a comment down below? Have a wonderful day.